In this video, I want to explain how to start a table service order in your restaurant. I'm going to start off by selecting a restaurant type table in the POS to start a new order. Once you start an order, you can select the number of people sitting at the table so you can divide the order by seat as you place the order. If you'd like to change the number of seats, you can always slide your finger to the left or the right on the little table icon in the bottom right hand corner of the POS screen. Now that I have three seats for my order, I can select a seat and place an order on each individual seat. You can also just place the order on the table as well if you'd like to keep it all together and then split it up later if needed. I'm going to start off by adding a round of drinks to each seat. As you can see, I'm selecting the seat first and then I'm placing the order on the seat. I can also delete an item from the order by sliding my finger to the left. I can also long press my finger on the product and do a few different actions such as add a discount, delete a product as well, or move to a different seat. I'm going to add a few main dishes to each seat as well and select the modifiers for each such as meat temperature and choice of side. I'm also going to add an appetizer to the table for them to share by selecting the table and then selecting the appetizer charcuterie board. This item can be split between all customers after it's sent to the kitchen and before we split and finalize the bills. Now that I have a full order, I'm going to go ahead and send the entire order to the kitchen by clicking send up in the top right hand corner. If you're using a coursing workflow in your restaurant, your items are automatically organized by course based on what category they're assigned to and a little course pop-up will come up before printing to the kitchen. You can decide which category is on which course by assigning a course in the back office to each category. If I would like to reorganize my course and before sending the order to the kitchen, I can drag and drop each item to a different course. Let's go ahead and click print to send this order to the kitchen. Also, after I send the order to the kitchen, I have the option of sending little notifications to the kitchen to fire the next course by selecting the course tab up in the top right and clicking fire. Now that the order has been printed, let's take a look at the kitchen ticket. Since I'm not currently using printers in my demo account, I have all of my kitchen tickets set to save to the camera roll of my iPad instead. As you can see here, the entire order is on the kitchen ticket. Also, you can see the fire course 2 notification I sent as well. Let's go back into the order and walk through some of the other actions and features that you can do from the order screen. First and foremost, if I'd like to order another round of the same drink or product, I can quickly reorder it by just tapping my finger on the product on the bill. I can also hold my finger down on the product and perform actions such as split items across seats, which allows me to split something like an appetizer here evenly across multiple seats on the bill. As you can see, the appetizer is now evenly split across all three seats. Before I go to the payment screen to split and finalize the bill, I want to show you the actions panel which provides a quick way for me to edit an order in multiple ways or also perform different actions to the order. I'm going to select the little blue actions button up on the top right hand corner of the order screen and walk through some of these actions you can do from the screen. From here, you can send items manually to the kitchen individually, transfer a whole entire receipt or specific items to a different table by selecting the items you'd like to transfer, and other actions such as move to seat, split, and change course of multiple items at once. Also, if you transfer a bill or specific items to another table that already has an order on it, this will merge the orders together in one bill. Now that we've run through an entire order, I recommend logging into your POS and try placing a table order on your account to test it out. 